muchachos y muchachas. So today is Human Trafficking Awareness Day, which is why everything is predominantly blue, because this is the color that we all unite on. It is just to bring awareness one day out of the entire year, although there are several other holidays that highlight this epidemic in our lifetime. Now, with this being said, very ironically, very ironically, there was a story that was published this morning that works against the battle against human trafficking and sexual exploitation. And that is the normalization of, let's call it the PED zero agenda. And if you scribble that on a piece of paper, you'll see what I'm talking about. The PED zero agenda. It is continuously getting more and more aggressive. Just yesterday, I shared news of our local governments installing questionable judges that allow repetitive criminals and sex offenders to recycle back onto the streets based on not a judge's oath that they took, but rather what seems to be a sworn agenda. So now that we know that the local governments are more complicit and bendable for the said offenders, we can probably see things like policy being bent a little bit more towards that way as well. But this would not all be complete until culture is also bent. And just like that, ironically, on Human Trafficking Awareness Day, we see this attempt being pushed by USA Today. Yeah, stay right there. We're going to go through it. Dermatologists recommend serums for nearly any aging, starting from the age of 20 all the way up to the 70s and above for both its preventative and reparative benefits. Serums can work for any skin type, from oily to dry, and thousands of consumer surveys show that they are effective. But choosing the right serum among all the options found on store shelves can be difficult. This is why I highly recommend Glow with Natalie. This ultra-rich serum helps reduce the most visible signs of aging like wrinkles, age spots, and photo aging. This amazing product uses powerhouse ingredients to promote the appearance of firmer, tighter, brighter, smoother, and more youthful-looking skin. I personally use it daily, and it has be quickly become my favorite anti-aging serum. I couldn't be more thrilled with the results I've received. I've partnered with the creators of this amazing product to give my audience up to 38% off their own supply to celebrate the new year. Just go to glowwithnatalie.com or click the link below to get yours today. Okay, so you heard me right. USA Today decided to try it this morning when they published an article titled, What the Public Keeps Getting Wrong About Pedal Files. That's right. You, the public, us, the public, me, the public, we keep getting it wrong about what pedophiles are. Now, before I dig in, do you guys remember this story? It was about the college professor by the name of Alan Walker at Old Dominion University. And this professor was promoting a book in which talked about destigmatizing pedophiles and their agendas and redefining their title instead that it should be minor attracted people. Don't call them the P word, call them minor attracted people or maps for short. The professor went on to define that these people want to help but are too afraid to come out as who they are in their nature out in the open. Yeah, as they should. Then they went on to also promote the idea that just because these people have an attraction towards kids, that it doesn't mean that they will act on that attraction, which doesn't make all of them abusers is what she said. Yeah, that person. So that professor faced big time backlash to the point where Allen was scrutinized by the very students at the university whom they actually called for a firing and resignation from immediately. Now, the university themselves were very slow to respond, but at least the backlash was appropriate because this is outrageous. I'm actually uh, thinking about planning a peaceful protest against Alan Walker. So now that I gave you that refresher, USA Today. Now, USA Today came out with this article, again, titled, What the Public Keeps Getting Wrong About Pedal Files. Hey, guys, this is editing me here. And I just wanted to point out that as I was reading this and I was going back on the article, I noticed that USA Today actually changed the title. It went from what the public keeps getting wrong about pedophilia to the complicated research behind pedophilia. Mm, damage control, huh? 
And it's just an extension of what Alan Walker's theory to call the minor attractive people that it should be bestowed upon the entire public. Now, in one portion of the article, it suggests that not all people who sexually abuse children are pedophiles, that instead they are imagining child victims as adult surrogates and they get to justify it with science. Now, you can see very specifically in this article where I highlighted it, where it says, uh, you know, they're trying to base it, this off of this scientific type of a theme, I, I guess you would say, which is a common theme that we're seeing in modern day, right? Like everything is based on science and you trust the science, but now they're, they're applying science to this ideology. So listen to this. This is what they have to say. The evidence suggests it's inborn. It's neurological, says James Cantor, a clinical psychologist, sex researcher, and former editor-in-chief of Sexual Abuse, a journal of research and treatment. He continues, pedophilia is an attraction to children regardless of whatever the person ever harms. Now get this part in red. Not all people who sexually abuse children are pedophiles. I, I'm, not, I'm not even kidding you. This is this is straight up from USA Today, and I will link it down in my description below so you can see this article for yourself. This is what they are claiming, that, that not all people who sexually abuse children are pedophiles. USA Today. They continue, some pedophiles never abuse children. Experts say that some people who sexually abuse children do not sexually prefer them, but use them as surrogates for an adult partner. They want to be disinhibited and antisocial with an impulse and control problems. Now it goes on to uh, give you know their scientific method of how they arrive to this, uh, I guess, conclusion or the, this uh, salute. I, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. This excerpt on their science to, to just further validate their sick agenda. Now, continue. They do mention Alan Walker, the professor I just gave you guys a refresher on in this article. Now, I want to remind you, this professor received a lot of backlash by the court of public opinion, uh, by the students of Old Dominion University, I mean, just by, by even certain staffs and even down to the LGBTQ community at that university. And they're basically, you know, in, in this certain situation, they're basically saying, no, like this is not a sexual preference. We do not identify with this, you know, get her out of here, which I, you know, if, if we're to agree on anything, I'm glad that we at least agree on this. Now, continued on. In this article, they actually mention Alan Walker, and uh, they they mention that uh, that this person was actually on the right track with normalizing these dangers to society. Like that, you caused a controversy, and that you know if you don't agree with her, you you caused a controversy. And I just want to point out how they malign the public on this issue. Notice that this bolded title line, it says, the controversy over destigmatizing pedophile cabinets. You know what I mean? And in, in my opinion, the way that they worded this seems to be that they are maligning the public. If you disagree with this, you're causing a controversy. What is the controversy about this? It's not even a question. It's not even a controversy. It's just plain old wrong. That's what it is. And they continue to cite an academic at Old Dominion University in Northville, Virginia, who talked about destigmatizing pedophile in cabinets and refer to pedal files as minor attracted people resigned in November following an outcry over the phrase. Alan Walker argued destigmatizing the attraction should allow more people to seek help and ultimately prevent child sexual abuse. Now, here's the thing. This is very easy for you guys to prevent child sexual abuse. Just mark the offender. OK, like out in the open. They should be the same way we're carrying around our papers, you know, the people who who got those, not me in particular, but people who have the papers, you know, these people should have some sort of papers or markers or bracelet or something like that to identify themselves easily in society. Now, I said this yesterday that, you know, Russia was actually considering, you know, extra steps to uh, actually, you know, identify these people a lot better, a lot easier for the public to recognize. So that way there's a lot more harsher punishment. 
And, you know, with that being said, I think the same should happen here in America. Now it continues to go on. They, in USA Today, they attempt to gaslight the rears on this issue. And they're basically saying, um, actually, there's a lot more support going on with this issue. And I'm going to have to argue and shut down really quick. No, that's a gaslight. That's a lie. Not a lot of people are supporting this idea. So they say there is a growing support in the field for Walker's point of view. Now, you guys let me know in the comments, what is your support? Okay, I want to know, like, I want to see an uproar in the comments about about this, because USA Today is claiming that a lot more people are actually coming forth and supporting this idea that we should actually be normalizing and destigmatizing these pedal files as minor attracted people. That's what they claim. So they're saying, oh, this person's gaining a lot of support, while Cantor said that there's no treatment that can turn a pedal file into a non pedal file pedal files can be self taught self-control and uh, compensatory i'm sorry compensatory strategies which he said is more likely if they're under the care of a professional he argues that pedal files need to be able to access therapy which can be difficult since those afflicted may be ashamed to seek help or worried about being reported to the authorities uh you know all this and that now here's the thing we literally said this yesterday. We said this yesterday. Report them to the authorities and then they get back on the streets. So what's the point? You know what I mean? Like, so what's the point? This is this is just to put in those regulations, stipulations to allow this to happen in our culture. Because they already are working on this by policy as well as working and installing the people that are going to give that result. The judges, the council members that are selected, that are on board right now, that are going by agenda to allow this to happen by law and, uh, you know, loosening law enforcement on these issues. Now they're trying to install this in our culture. And I don't know about you, but I find this very wrong. And, you know, this is just very surprising. I mean, it's not surprising. But it's just shocking. It's shocking that they are out in the open trying to promote this agenda in front of our faces. Now, this tweet on on Twitter got so ratioed, and that means that they got more, you know, backlash comments than they did get retweets or likes on this matter. And so, so much backlash made USA Today actually delete this tweet. Now, as you can see, and as I will link in the description below, the article is still up and they are still peddling, uh, no pun intended, they're still peddling this garbage as this sort of normalized rhetoric that we need to accept. And I pose this question to you, are you going to allow this to happen? So that's the story, guys. Again, I just as I see these important issues, I think you guys should know about it. And it's 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 not just the uh, culture bend that they're trying to instill in our normal mainstream everyday media where we get our information and news. But gu- I guarantee you they're going to try to do it in cartoons. They already are trying to install these ideas and to indoctrinate children in a very sadistic, very uh, nefarious way. So thought you should know about it. You guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for loving this channel. Thank you so much for loving me. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and tell somebody about this channel, especially tell somebody about this video because this is happening under our noses and they don't think we're going to notice. We're definitely going to notice and we're not going to let it go. You guys have a great day. I will catch you in the next episode.